this is obviously going to be a summary of what I'm going to be talking about in San Diego. It's definitely not a replacement for going to the conference. So many good conversations going around there, so many good discussions that you could have. This is really just to show you what I'm planning to talk about. But I think the quintessence is that we're actually using SAP HANA to make significant changes to the controlling modules. Anybody who's been around controlling for a while will know that controlling is big data. You know, we always have huge tables. The COEP, the COPA tables, they're often the biggest tables that you'll get in an organization. And just pulling data out of those tables can be a challenge. Certainly, I spent the early part of my career actually doing performance workshops and explaining to people how they can get a grip around that data. So what I'm going to try to explain is how SAP HANA potentially changes the way we can work with the data that you capture in controlling, and also hopefully to help you to understand what SAP is doing as we move forward, because this is a journey that we're on. So I'll talk a little bit about different forms of HANA. SAP HANA comes in, in various shapes and forms. What we see on the left, the SAP HANA accelerators, this is basically the first form of HANA that we took to the market. So if anything, any of you had anything to do with the COPA accelerator, which was introduced about two years ago, what that was doing was it was sitting side by side. Some people talk about this as a sidecar scenario. And we were pulling data out of whatever database you kept your controlling data in onto this HANA, it was near real-time replication, so there's a, a database trigger that would say a new record has arrived in CREP, please transfer it to this database. And then the processes in ERP, and particularly in controlling, were being redirected to pull that data out of SAP HANA. And there were various applications. As I said, the very first one was the COPA accelerator. There was a lot of noise around that, also some very successful customer implementations, and going forward, Things like Material Ledger went there. There's some FI accelerators there around line item browsers for the general ledger. 